Oh, my fucking sack, my back, my crack. Have you seen how Demi Lovato looks now? Oh my god. Yeah, man. I seen a picture the other day. Like she used to look so good. I'll show I mean, you. wasn't she doing like heroin? Yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 well, that explains it. Her anyway, because she got uh, a butt chin, and I, I don't know, man. Something about chin nah. She looks really chin. bad now, bro. Up, bro. Like, but you're gonna have to talk so close to that mic, McKinnon. Yeah, like, sucking on that motherfucker name there. Hello. There you, there go. you go. There you go. Yeah, that's where it's at. All right, bro. Let's get this shit started. Yeah, episode one. Throat and a fucking, fucking microphone. Hey, bro. Here. You got to lick on the tip a little bit. This is her right? now. Bitch got a mullet. Damn. Bro. She got a mullet. <laughs> Drugs. That's facts. She got that fucking Joe Dirtier. All right. Joe let's get it. <laughs> Dirtier. Let's church it up, boy. <laughs> All right. Let's get it, guys. All right, guys, welcome to episode 150 of Dope Talk TV is yours truly low key. And today we got a special guest. We got John over here and we got my boy McKinnon in the motherfucking building. Round of applause to him. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, we're back with another one. We're going to be chilling. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the notification bell. You're notified every time we drop. And yeah, man, today we're going to be talking our shit, guys. So get ready. Get ready. How we feeling, boys? How we fucking feeling? Chilling, man. We've been fucking fucking drinking. Yeah, we've been cooling today, man. Yeah. Our boy came over, man. Like like I said, round of applause for fucking McKinnon. He made it finally. Fucking awesome. Welcome. Yeah, for sure. For sure. But yeah, guys, let's go ahead and get right into the shits today, man. Yeah, bro. Demi Lovato. What the fuck is going on? (laughs) What's going on? I don't know. I'm, bro, we got to put a picture up here, bro. I'm, I'm going to tell fucking Harry to put up a picture of how she fucking looks right now because it's, it's ridiculous. She kind of looks like Joe Dirt. Joe Dirt. <laughs> a little bit. Got the mullet rocking. Got the mullet rocking a little bit, bro. Yeah. I'm telling you, though, man. I don't know. Even when she, you know, everybody was like into her thinking she was fine. I couldn't. You didn't see her like that? No, nah, bro. Either. That's I'm the butt lie. chin, bro. I'm yeah. telling you something about girls I never with saw her like chin. that. It throws me off, man. I can't do it. Yeah. Oh my god Nah I'm with it I'm with it I like the What's her face Ariana Grande That was my baby Yeah That was she my cute. baby She cute and like, they, She's cute, cute. They, Yeah they all fucking I think they were all like the, Around the same age group too Like yeah. they all were Like were on Disney Channel And shit like oh, that yeah. I don't know about Ariana Different shows coming up yeah. yeah They were around though But I don't know Demi Lovato did change a lot bro She what, What's going on where She was like singing A ghost or some shit what, What's going on Yeah apparently There was an article posted <laughs> up That she's singing ghost. to ghost I guess to overcome trauma from sexism. Oh, word. Yeah, like so so she sang <laughs> <laughs> she literally she literally sang to nothing. So like, there was an empty crowd. What's she doing bringing like a Ouija no, board that, into the studio? No, that's or something. some that's that, some good yayo. That's some drugs for you right there. That's some spiritual shit. That's some bump and dump. She had to go fucking on stage <laughs> and sing to nothing. <laughs> she was feeling that shit dog. all day, and I was just like, "Wow, like this is crazy." Like you used to look so freaking good. You used to look amazing. And how does that? How do you get to that heroin? Yeah, <laughs> that, <laughs> straight like that. We're gonna cut to the chase. Like how many times she been to rehab? Yeah, that's at her age. That's kind of bad, bro. But yeah, people do drugs, man. We don't condone drug usage on YouTube, but if you guys want to come check out <laughs> our Patreon, we're definitely going to have an episode coming out soon, man. He's going to be our first guest on there also, so y'all stay tuned for that, because there's going to be some, you know what I'm saying? There's going to be some stories told. It's going to be fucking dope, man. Yeah, y'all going to have to check that one out. Yeah. But yeah, nah, Demi, baby girl, don't be singing at empty fucking stadiums. What she, she actually, you know what I'm saying? Like, for sexism, it's like... Or was this like just at home, like... No. She recorded a- apparently it was like not a stadium but like apparently like it was a concert held was it know? a concert that just nobody showed up to yeah oh then we that's kind of sad yeah i mean i don't know so she was singing and <laughs> so she, the whole time, <laughs> <laughs> she just, she just got me. better <laughs> she like she threw she probably threw this concert for the sexism and nobody showed up well i, I I don't know. I feel like <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I feel like, like <laughs> there's, there's some hardcore Demi fans, man. Someone gonna show up. Yeah, like, that's fast. Yeah, yeah they gotta just, kick him she, out. She had to have rented this thing out and just not release tickets. That there's, makes no sense, man. I, unless she's like trying to, you know, give out like a super deep statement that our ignorant asses just don't understand. But I don't get this shit. Like, I don't. See I guess I'm too old from. now or something. I don't know. I don't know, man. This is kind of like it's kind of creepy in a way because, like, <laughs> gosh, man, I used to have a freaking crush on her, man. <laughs> I thought we 
dog's heartbroken, bro. Yeah, yeah bro. I like the crazy bitch. Hey, man, the yeah, crazy bitch, bro. Like, yeah. And you know what, man? It gets deeper than that. I feel like I feel like Disney Channel really messes these kids up, bro. <laughs> nah, there's something going like, on. Somebody all these t- kids, yeah, yeah. All these kids end up doing fucking hardcore drugs yeah. and just like, like, what's the one dude's name? Orlando, the one that was on That So Raven. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Orlando. He was wild there for a little bit. The videos he was coming out with, he flew yes. off the rails. He did, but he was speaking some real shit though. At the end of the day, nah. But he was I mean, saying some real shit. He was saying some shit that was like, I, I believe it. Like when he was like, "Yo, Raven sucking my dick and shit." I believed that. Oh yeah, probably. y'all were literally the same age, and right. y'all were backstage together all the time. Yeah, and, bitch, just suck my dick real quick. It probably happened. And you know she's lesbian, yeah, which is crazy. What, I, I guess you know there, a lot of these lesbians be sneak dicking, dog. End up it's pregnant right. with a whole do rag and a fucking Bad. wife beat on. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I ain't gonna lie, I'll hit a couple dykes. I don't hey, give I might, a fuck. Hey, listen, they look different with the clothes on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They look different you with know, the clothes. They take on. that fucking no, ace bandage off their titties. <laughs> <laughs> now you gotta take the do rag off when I hit though. Facts. It's got, I don't care if Facts. you have a short fro. I don't care about that. But you gotta take the fucking do rag off. Bitch. I, I can't gotta, be fucking hitting you from the back. You gotta looking take, at Tyrone's fucking cat. head. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You gotta take them freaking. <laughs> you gotta take them freaking boxers off, baby. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 take, the boxer briefs, bitch. Take, take the box. Take the boxers off, man. Yo, these old really be dressing like fucking dudes. Yeah, you can't just like rip a hole in the back. Yeah, right. instead <laughs> of the hole in the front, put it in the back. <laughs> you know, Yo, you know what's one. crazy? I just, I just realized this right now, bro. Like, we go way harder on the guys that dress like women than we do on the women that dress like guys. I just realized that because we've been seeing dykes for a long time. With, that, yeah. with, that, with every topic about my cousin, gay, I have a cousin was like that. Like <laughs> men get ripped out way harder than women. Facts. Like a, if a woman girls want well, girls, where we from? You know what I'm saying? So it's like a woman's a lesbian is like, oh baby, I fuck with that. But as soon as the niggas like, yo, I'm I'm fucking I'm gay or whatever, it's like, damn, you fucking queer. Like, I, don't, <laughs> I can't even look at you now. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, bro. Yeah. It's rough. It's rough. I did it once, though. Oh, you did it? Oh, yeah. that, I, well, that might be, have to be a Patreon fucking story. Yeah, you know that saying? is a Patreon story. You know My what? I did it once, and that's all you need to know. Yeah, she be, I mean. <laughs> Check in later. She was cute. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. That's what you call them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> And uh, a little bit of butt fucking this weekend. A little butt fuck scooting over here. What, what we are a butt fuck scooter. Yeah, Let's break I'm, this down. We're trying to walk over to Dylan's house, and when you know, it's like two, two, three streets away. It's like ten minutes. So it's you and Kane trying to go to Dylan's house. Yeah, and we're okay, like man, suspect already. Yeah, so we're just gonna <laughs> <laughs> already too many dicks in the equation. Yeah. We're starting off three dicks. It was a guy's night because all the girls are out <laughs> doing their own thing. So it was like, yo, let's just fucking get nah, fucked facts, up. Facts. You know what I mean? So we fucking we start walking over there, and then we see one scooter. Kane like oh bro we can get there in like fucking two fucking minutes instead of 10 and i was just like (laughs) just put your sack on my back and we out yeah so we hop (laughs) so i hop on the scooter we finally get it fucking it took us like two minutes just to fucking get this shit activated had to download the app (laughs) yeah by the time we were done we could have fucking already been there by the you know what I mean? So we had people walking their dogs passing by us. They're like, hey, hey. We're like, hey, how are you? And I got two beers in my hand unopened. The dog's taking a but, piss on the scooter and yeah, shit. Yeah, so we hop on. We finally get it on. We start riding. I fucking hop on the back like a fucking queer. <laughs> and, and, I'm, and I hold well, on to your life. Are you the queer or is he the queer? Cause I think, I don't know. We're both queers at this point. It, I, you know what I'm saying? I've heard that if you give it, it's not gay. So I, I don't know, man. It if was you ca- take it, it's, I was, it's, it's different. I don't know, but we were. I was definitely, I mean, my scrotum was touching his asshole. All right? Did you whisper? in his ear let me enter you yeah <laughs> like god so i'm holding on to dear life my 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 thing right now is i'm controlling the brakes i got the back brake you know on a scooter you oh, can you wow. press the yeah so i have that so and y'all going half these yeah, too yeah he's riding <laughs> and then on top of it i have the gps through under his under his handle with my phone right here and he's looking at it i'm oh, just holding on oh, wow. and i went with the and yes <laughs> what the fuck are y'all doing and then we're just go we're just going we're going <laughs> oh, <laughs> Straight balls on his forearm. Yeah, so my balls, my ball sack's on top of his crack right now, and then I'm fucking just going. We're going, we're going. We're like fuck, and then we see people driving past us, just fucking recording us and shit. I'm like, wow. Oh no, y'all ending up on fucking TikTok. Oh, I'm yeah. fucking uh, <laughs> something, bro. 
Anyways, I'll we fi- trying to snap a photo. Yeah, we finally fucking get there, and yeah, we got there oh, on time. Shit. But it was like, man, we should have just walked. You know what I mean, bro? Like, yeah, like that's <laughs> that's crazy. First of all, the fact that y'all had to download an app and wait like ten minutes just to do that. Yeah, and then you still decided to fucking pull the move of just like yeah, put your sack <laughs> on my back. And then I got charged seven dollars, but apparently it was. <laughs> <laughs> he had to pay to be there. Yeah, no, yeah. Yo, this is no, a but lose, 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 <laughs> lose, lose situation. situation. I fucking threw away fucking six <laughs> grams of fucking bud too. On top of it, it was hey, a, it was an L night, you know. That but shit's damn. Yeah. So on top of that it, was all the same night. They said it was free. Okay. When I scanned the shit, it, <laughs> <laughs> they, they said nah, bro. But to download lied. the app, is they, seven dollars. They got a scale yeah. on that bitch. It felt two people. <laughs> yeah, at the end of it, it said end, and then it said charge seven twelve. I was like, wow. Don't forget the twelve for, cents for three blocks, bro. Yeah. For you three blocks, just called a fucking Uber. I told him right. that from the jump. <laughs> Nobody wanted to do it. It was like a little. It was like a little neighborhood, like right here. It was like a little nice little neighborhood right on the outskirts of downtown Orlando. So the way they were cuddled up, they should just brick them horse fuck. and carriage. And I was hold- get on. <laughs> and I'm holding on for dear life, bro, because like these are brick roads. These are like the older roads. You know, it's not like the cement where it's like smooth and you're riding down. No, it's like why is he on the sidewalk? <laughs> oh, so y'all are gyrating as your fucking sacks on his back. That's yeah. crazy. Can't you ride those? Bro, on the this whole- I think that's illegal. Those scooters on yeah. the Yeah. And then we could have got a DUI if you didn't think about it. We're right, fucking yeah, drinking. Yeah, facts. Yeah, they pull you over on that shit. You're going to jail. Yeah, who's driving though? Not me. And they're gonna laugh at you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the passenger. I'm the passenger. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the GPS holder and the brakes. <laughs> you know, no, you're both going. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all, Y'all are both bro, together. Y'all Dumb, and Dumb and dumber. Dumb yeah. and dumbest. <laughs> like fucking, fucking Glock and Dolph, bitch. Jesus. So yeah, that's what that's what I did yesterday, guys. And it, it was it was rough. It was kinda rough. Hey man, it happens sometimes. You go out with some plans and it just goes fucking left. <sighs> you know what sounds kinda rough though? What's that? These people that freaking died in Kentucky, man, at this Amazon fucking <sighs> warehouse. Imagine you somebody like your boss is like, nah, you can't leave. You can't tell me yet, bro. No, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. How are you gonna stop me? That's number one. Like, I'm, I'm out. out. Like, you can't. At the, at the end of the day, like, it's fucked up. Like, number one, y'all should let people leave if they want to fucking leave. That's number one. Number two, like, how is somebody going to stop you from going to your car, cranking the motherfucker, and just dipping? Like, unless they're going to physically do it. Right. But it's like, it's sad. Rest in peace to them, man. That's six, fucked six up. Six people, man. Dying at work like that, that's Trash, bro. Six people. They said moments after Harris reached the shelter area near the restrooms on the north side of the building, the ground became convulsing. Debris started flying and unholy noise filled the air. The EF3 tornado that hit the facility quickly tore off the roof, collapsed several exterior walls, and killed six people. Hey, first off, rest in peace to the six people. Condolences go out to the family and friends of them. That's a fuck. That's a crazy situation, bro. That's a fuck situation. Imagine getting a text like from your wife. You're like, yeah, you know, they're not letting me come home, but you know, I'll be home soon. Nah, you know? I'd be like, leave. What exactly. Do you mean? Like, this is a life or death thing. But see, yeah. The leave. Thinking that since you know, to warehouse is safer than driving. Man, I, I I feel you, bro. But it's like, either way, you're gonna be held liable because that's probably what they were thinking. Oh, if we let them leave and something happens, it's on us because we let them leave. But what if the tornado hits the fucking building and you didn't let them leave? Either way, it's a lose-lose situation. Like, you're fucked. So I feel like in that situation, it should be up to the person. If you decide to leave, like, and something happens to you, it's not on us. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because you decided to leave. Exactly. Tornadoes, man, that shit. That would have been a whole different story. You're from Missouri, so you've been around them and shit. How is that shit? How is that? You know, like the one that like we did experience when I was a kid, I fucking slept through. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> so it was nothing. I was guy like, growing up, I was a heavy sleeper, right? And then I just remember one night I was sitting there and I woke up. I was cold, and we're in a storm shelter that's like flooded. Holy and shit! And there's just like everybody in there freaking out, and I'm like, "What the hell is going on?" And there's fucking tornado going around us. Oh and my god! And I just god. remember like looking around. There's like a fucking goat or something in there. Like one of the. <laughs> As far as Brian's like fucking goaty, I don't know what if it was like the goat, goat his favorite goat he was fucking or what, but <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, man, there was a goat in there, I remember. That's crazy. That's bad. Wild. You know, is that, they make bad. 
Do they do bad? Yeah, I mean, they a make goat? Go? Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's a sheep that you're thinking about. Wow. Sheep. Sheep's bad. <laughs> <laughs> my dog got to get the little like fucking like mad. <laughs> like, they're different. <laughs> oh, my it's gosh. Slightly the same, but different. Tornadoes, man. Like, those. that's probably the most scariest thing. And not even, like, a tornado during the daytime. It's more, like, towards the night. Like, the nighttime tornadoes are, like... I mean, that has to be way scarier, but either way, it's fucked. It's either way. Like, it's just fucked. Either way, just you all remember, you, no, you remember when a tornado came through over here? And D-Land and yeah. fucking tore some shit up? That was, like, my mom's job. It went through Geneva, too? That shit was crazy, bro. Yeah. No, I was a different one. I'm that talking about, a, like, damn, years was another ago. one. Was like, this shit was, like, 15 years ago. I don't remember. It was, like... I, I mean, it's a random tornado. There's not many tornadoes in Florida, you know what I mean? But... It was a tornado that ripped apart like some businesses and shit like that, offices and shit. I can't imagine that. That's crazy, bro. Like it's just weather, bro. Weather will fuck you up. <laughs> weather will fuck you up. So guys, what do you what do you uh what do you think about this truck driver situation, bro? <laughs> oh, fuck man. Like, Listen, like everybody, first of all, everyone heard again, about it. Yeah, again, rest in peace to the people that lost their lives. I think it was like four people that lost their lives in that situation. Um, condolences go to the family. That's rough. That's a rough call to get, especially like you know what I'm saying before the holidays and shit like that. Like this, I think this happened a minute ago. Or yeah, something, but yeah. Regardless, it, it doesn't fucking matter what time of year it is. It's yeah. a bad call to get. Yeah. But at the same time, we got to be fair. And speaking from from a point of view of somebody that literally went to school to get my class A CDL and learned how to drive a semi truck, like that shit could happen to anybody on the fucking road. Yeah, I was about to say, you do have your CDL. Yeah. Or like, you, you did the class and all that. Yeah, 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 I had it for a couple of years. Like, I didn't use it. I, didn't, I let it go and shit, but... Yeah, man, like, but you know, you know the I rules. Know how to drop a you know the truck. rules. I can say, yeah. like, I know how to do the whole check for the truck, the inspection before you leave and shit. Like, I know how to do all of that. Yeah. And the thing is, like, you could do that, and your brakes will still give out. Once they get past a certain temperature, your brakes are no longer going to work. And when you're driving down a mountain... And you got 90,000 fucking pounds pushing you down that mountain with no brakes. It's really hard to keep control. Honestly, it was surprising that he kept control for as long as he did, in my opinion. Because that shit's hard, bro. It's, it's a lot harder than what people think, especially with no brakes. You know what I'm saying? Right. But anybody that's driven trucks, bro, they've most of them have said the same shit. It's like, bro, like that, that shit, it, your brakes give out. And it could happen. It's tragic. It's sad, but he really doesn't deserve 110 years. Do you? Hell no. You he don't think so? Any time. What do you? You think it's his fault? Like, no. If he was like drunk, if because they tested him, he passed DUIs and all that. He, he was good. He didn't have anything. Like, if he was drunk, yeah, I understand the jail time. This man was completely sober, coherent, and his brakes failed. How are you gonna condemn him for trying to his best to keep this vehicle from running over people? And then finally he loses the control and you're going to condemn him 112 years for an accident but that he couldn't control? I don't know. People, they're trying to say, oh, well, you know, he should have checked his brakes or check, you know, the inspection before I just, the... I just said that yeah, before. Like, yeah. bro, you could go through a full inspection and everything, check out A-OK. -okay. Exactly. Halfway so through why, that fucking mountain, so why is it your an brakes issue? get too hot. Like, it's like your brakes could give out once they get too hot. So... What are you gonna do, bro? You're, like yeah. you need your fucking brakes. What you if need it, to keep braking. Exactly. Right? Like you what can't if it stop broke using your brakes? What if it was good when you checked it, but it broke right then and there? Bro, you know it, what I mean? It's like the heat. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like yeah. it's the heat. Like once you keep put pressing on the brakes and the shit keeps clamping. Yeah. There's ninety thousand pounds. You know how much force and how much heat it creates to stop that. So once the brakes get too hot, they stop working. Yeah, especially down. They just stop working, the whole bro. Time you're riding. There's, brake. it's like it's literally you driving down a I fucking mountain, and, and, you, and you hit your brake, and it's nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. You keep hitting the brake. You put both feet on your brake, and you're just fucking pressing as hard as you can, and the truck's still rolling, eighty miles an hour. You can't stop it, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like the people that are talking about it are people that never sat in a fucking Ex semi. Exactly. And that shit is different. It's not a car. It's not a truck. That, that's a it's big, not a pickup truck with a trailer behind it. It's a semi truck with ninety thousand pounds. Eighteen on wheels, it. right? Yeah, eighteen wheels. So it's like, 
Bro, Imagine. that shit's different, man. I feel bad for the guy. I feel bad for his family. I feel bad for the people involved that lost their lives because nobody... He wasn't on tr drugs. Truly, it's really nobody... That's a freak accident. That's bro. what I'm saying. He it's nobody's he, he fault for real. jail time for that. It's nobody's fault for real. It's an you know accident. Like, like, that's like... That's, that's a real accident. That's an like, accident. That's why they call it an accident. That's not like the fucking guy that ran through the parade. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? is that there's like a, a new thing now? I don't like know, what? But there's oh there's differences in the way that people do. You know what I'm saying? Like this guy tried his best. You know what I'm saying? We'll move on. Y'all go down in the comments yeah, and let, let us know. know what y'all think. If you think that he deserves jail time, if not, personally, y'all heard it here. We don't think he deserves any fucking jail yeah, time, bro. Yeah, none of us. Like, do. The state needs to pay for therapy for both parties. Yeah, yeah for everybody involved. Because you everybody. don't, you don't think lost their loved ones, and then him for the accident. They just need to give them both therapy and. Move on. Facts. That's a fact. Move Round of on. applause yeah. to that, man. That shit was amazing. But, yeah, man. This Epstein case, guys. This Epstein case is quiet as a fucking church mouse right now. Quiet as hell, man. You see how many, like, big wigs from, like, companies resigned once that case started? Hey, There's man. a bunch of them that just start resigning for, like, random shit they were saying. Bro, you got to think about it. Like, there was, like, very, very very important people going out to that island where all this was supposedly going on like bill clinton it was pre ex-presidents there was the queen and, and, and bro, king there was of england so many people that are like bro, you look at it and it's like list listen bro they had in my opinion they had to get rid of him you know we don't know shit we you know what i mean we don't know any of these people or people connected to any of these people. yeah but it's like it's all conspiracy in my opinion yeah bro in my opinion i think they just had to get rid of him bro there was too many people involved and when you're the when you're the lone wolf going down for some shit that you know everybody around you's doing, he wasn't going down alone for that shit. You know he wasn't. Like he was gonna oh, fucking no. he was gonna drop some names. Yeah, of Not course. And them niggas are like, bro, shit. my name can't be out there letting people know that I fuck twelve year old little girls on islands. <laughs> yeah, so we gotta hide you somewhere. I think that's where they're at. That I think they hit sick, him. Sick man. Yeah, that I don't think he's dead, sick, bro. That shit is so fucking sick. It's it's unbearable. Like to think, grown ass 40, 50, 60 year old men. Paying like a lot of money to do this. Shit. No, they weren't. That's the sick part about it. I watched the whole documentary, bro. He was paying them two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. You know what that is for a billionaire? That's like going in a fucking like like your change Couch jar. Cushion. Yeah, and grabbing two <laughs> pennies and giving it to three people and be like, yo, y'all all suck my dick. Yeah. That's literally what it is to him. So it's like it's sickening, bro. And the and, and the fact that honestly, bro, I really don't think that that's just gonna go anywhere. No, no, absolutely He's not. He's dead. He's gonna lose the other bitch here. is going to probably shut up. Yeah. Look how the case is already closed. They're, I don't even think he's dead. Where they said they already finished the case. No, that nigga's dead. I don't think so. No, nah, they broke I think his they, fucking neck. I think, the, I think they fucking... <laughs> he's done. No, 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 bro. They broke his neck. Like, the autopsy report said, like, there was no way... Like, his his neck was crushed. Like, somebody done fucking stomped on that shit. Or like, he probably just hung himself. Who knows? Bro, in a jail, there's no way you can... It's, like, I'm it's telling it's you, the autopsy report, involved. I trust that guy. He's been doing that shit for 30 years, and he said there's no way that that amount of fucking breakage in your neck could happen from you hanging yourself. Somebody had to do it. He said that. The autopsy report said it. So I believe that. Like, he he looks at bodies every day. He knows how people could die, how people can't, and what yeah. happens when it happens, when yeah. something happens. So I was like, he said it. He's like, nah, bro, that, somebody broke his fucking neck. <laughs> like straight up They killed that guy Well you know It's kind of messed up Because no one wants to share Anything about that case You know Whenever I talk about it On Facebook No one wants to like it Or share Only a couple people That are really aware Of the situation Really really awoke And you know Around You know They're just really aware You know right. what I mean And so a lot of people Just are not aware bro They rather share stuff Like Kyle Rittenhouse case And stupid ass shit Like TikTok that TikTok videos and shit But we're talking about Little kids guys we're talking about kids that are being fucking molested and raped for years and no one really cares about it. Yeah, and, and, and kidnapped and sex trafficked. And they don't believe Some it. Some of these kids you know, are kids that are on a missing fucking list on a Walmart wall and nobody fucking knows. And you know, like, you like, know that, I mean? like, that's disgusting to me. You know, people don't, you know, they, they, they put all this effort into stuff that we don't even need. And stuff like this, like this big ass case, no one is talking about, and it's fucked up. I want to let everybody know that right now. That's fucked up. Yeah, facts. More people should be still pressing for that because there was a lot of children involved, a lot of, a lot of sick shit, man, and a lot of people that should be held accountable for the positions that they're in, like are just held accountable for a period because you're a fucking. But that's you're why sick it's not fuck. getting the traction because the positions they're in, they can keep people quiet. And of course, bro. Down. You run, you run countries and banks. <laughs> it's pretty easy to keep people quiet. Yeah, you could do whatever you want at this hey, point. But apparently. It, it's, it's when they're done with you. When that system backfires, though, when they're done with you, like look at R. R Kelly. You know what I'm saying? 
Because let's be real. They knew what the fuck that man been doing for years, 25 years, 30 years at least. He been doing this shit. He was fucking Aaliyah in the 90s, bro. She was 16. And people knew. Right. So it's like, he's been doing this. Yeah. But he had the money. People kept quiet. But once the system's done with you, it's like, it's like throw him away. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, throw <laughs> him away. Release everything. Yeah. And it's like, like you think that R. Kelly had enough power, but you those guys are peons compared to the real people that run shit. Yeah, bro. the elites. The elites, bro? The elites. These niggas are not billionaires. Like, the, I'm telling you, bro, they talk about Elon Musk and this and that. Bro, there's niggas out here that make way more than Elon Musk. And there's some They're weird trillionaires. Statuses. They own multiple oil companies that the whole world runs off of. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, I, like there's, bro, trust, bro. It's it's all a game. Like it's just, it's all a game. It's all about money. It's all about the money, it's all about guys. The bread, money bro. and the power, bro. That's Straight what that's what up. runs the world, bro. <laughs> it's sad. It's sad. It really is. I even posted it on Facebook, man. I was like, man, all you guys ain't sharing this shit, but y'all sharing all this other shit, man. Fuck you. Yeah, for real facts, fuck bro. you and fact check that you know what's crazy a lot of people like for example we don't have kids McKinnon you happen to have you happen to have a few kids and it's like a lot of people don't put themselves in the shoes until it happens to them yep and I don't I don't have kids myself but I would never want anything like that to happen to any of my friends kids yeah or my, my nieces and nephews or know. you know what I'm saying shit like that like it would fucking enrage me so when I hear about it and people are just like, oh, whatever. Like, it's normalized or something. It's like, that's fucking You, you know what it is? When I'm out in public with my kids, they're right there. Like, I never stop watching them. Because there's just too many people out there that that's all they're doing is waiting for one person to just slip up. Yeah, bro. They're, I've yeah. seen the videos, bro. They're snatching kids in stores. And just yeah, they're snatching out. kids from moms. And that's one thing. Y'all single mothers, man. Y'all be careful. Because you're out at the store with a stroller and, and, and a little kid running around. They come up and snatch your baby and that, run. Yeah, that's like 100 grand right there. 100 grand? Probably more. Man, listen, bro. You know what I mean? And you know what? It's a lot, oh, yeah, of, a yeah, lot of people are kid, sick. That kid could end up at Epstein's Island. Exactly. That's, what, yeah. that's the whole who, point of this. And, like, and imagine how many other islands there are. Facts. Let's put it from, out there. From billionaires you know? that could afford fucking five islands. and they just islands. just fucking different. Random houses. Yeah. Facts, it could, with That's dungeons. True. Dungeons and shit. Right. Yeah, like that case of the guy that had like some girls held hostage yes. for like 20 years. I remember that. And he just soundproofed the basement and he had them held down there, bro. And it was like his, I think it was his own daughter, bro. He he had like five kids with her and stuff like Like it was Damn. some crazy, sick, crazy shit. And they bro. finally escaped. Yeah, and, she escaped. Yeah. And she had been missing for like 20 years. Yeah, bro. You know what I mean? People At like, that point, people think you're dead. Yeah, bro, it's been 20 years. Yeah, like, it's come like, on. At that point, it's like, yeah, but if, it, bro, if that. Even after a year. Getting that soon. call, like, imagine getting that call and that's your kid that's been missing for 20 years and right. they just found him. Oh, my God, bro. Like, that has to be the most, like, if that person called you and it was fake, you're killing them type shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, bro, I've been waiting 20 years and you just called my phone on some bullshit talking about I found her. You feel oh, me? Yeah, like I'm choking real. the fuck out of you, bro, till you die. <laughs> like, straight up. But yeah, no, nah, it's it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. That's that's it's a wild, crazy man. world, guys. But listen, man, we appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. And listen, man, go down in the description, get yourself some merch. And y'all go follow my boy on Instagram, man. We're gonna put his Instagram in the motherfucking description and all that. All right. But listen, man, we appreciate you. We love you. Tell somebody you love them, and let's make it to New Year's. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. <laughs>